Should I be using irons only off the tee? Let's find out. Welcome along to another edition of Big Ben Golf. Um, if this is your first time or if you're returning, make sure you don't forget to like the video and subscribe a lot at the bottom uh, and turn the little bell on for notifications. We're going to find out whether I should be using irons off the tee or woods. We're going to have a three hole challenge of just irons off the tee and see if I can get par or better. Uh, if anybody noticed the last few videos that I've done, um, the last nine hole challenge in particular, I actually shot two over on the back nine here at the Kendershire, um, but I didn't hit one fairway and I was using woods. So it's got me thinking, do I even need to use woods? Should I just go irons and see how we get on? So today, that's what we're going to find out. Irons only off the tee, uh, three holes, par five, par four, then a par three. Let's see how we go. So we're starting off with a par five. Excuse the wind, it's a bit windy, so you might not be able to hear me very well, so I apologize for that. Um, it's about 480 yards. Our uh, tees are a little bit further forward because of the winter. Going with a two iron, um, normally I wouldn't use that because I'm a little bit unconfident, but today I feel like I have to, especially because we're just using irons. So let's see how we go. Teed up a touch. And would you believe it, we've missed the fairway straight off the first hole. We're in the rough on the right hand side over there. So that's not the perfect start, is it? Thinking about trying to hit fairways. First iron off the tee, we pushed it right into the rough. Maybe in the trees in fact. We'll have to have a little look when we get down there. So this is what we're left with. Didn't quite make the trees fully, but they're in the way enough to be causing a bit of an issue. So the line, for the flag is actually over here in the green. Well, not in the green, the green's over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna aim for my second shot towards these bushes over here. There's a bunker in front of them. So that's the line, probably about a seven or a six iron just to get into the middle of the fairway. Well, that's the plan anyway. Go with six iron, like I said, nice smooth one towards those bushes. Let's have a go. ridiculously thin but it's in the fairway as I said since the last nine hole video that I've done not hitting any fairways it's got me really thinking is missing fairways really the issue um, I seem to scramble quite well but um, it's the whole reason we're doing this irons only not going very well at the moment sent one right off the tee thinned another one out of the rough um, however we do have an attempt at the green for three shots. Um, it's a little bit further back than I wanted uh, because I caught it so thin, but it's still an attempt. I'll give it a zap and let you know how far away we are. 108 yards. I'm gonna go with a 50 degree, but a nice smooth one. As you can see the flag in the distance. Wind, is it gonna zoom, is it gonna focus? Yeah, wind is off the left a little bit, so it should help a touch. So 50 degree, let's go. Ball's below my feet a little bit, which is a bit awkward, but we'll, uh, we'll try and aim a little bit left of the flag and see if the wind helps us out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. We'll repair that in a second. But look at this, 50 degree. I don't know if you can see that, I'll make that out. That ball is probably about two feet. So that would actually felt a little bit funny. Hands, handsy, but it's turned out all right. We've got away with it. Um, when we get up to the green, I'll show you how close we are. But happy on the green, in three shots, only iron. Sorry about that, I'm all over the place. I had only fell down a hole. <laughs> so it's gone on a little bit further than I thought. Uh, 
so more like eight feet rather than uh, two feet there's the pitch mark however and this is what we're left with a left to right <laughs> uh, short by half a centimeter never mind that's a five level par after one hole the wind is blowing like you wouldn't believe it's actually blowing the camera when i'm holding it um so yeah level irons only one hole done onto the second hole of the three hole challenge irons only um this is normally a par five like i said in one of my previous videos but it's a par four today which is measuring about 410 420 ish all uphill towards the bunker right at the top there um let's hopefully hit a fairway this time gonna go with two iron again two iron in hand wind's off the right on this hole another fairway missed maybe it's just me off the tee nothing to do with irons nothing to do with woods just me off the tee so that's another one off to the right um twice in a row maybe it's just my longer clubs rather than woods or irons thinking about it um still not terrible but right rough so while we're walking up the fairway to this ball uh, i had a, an interesting question asked me the other day uh, if anybody watched the lesson video that I had with Emma earlier, uh, it was mentioned that I played a, a bit of rugby, or used to. And um, I talked a bit about my mobility. Um, injuries uh, played a massive part in the reason why I play golf now and not rugby. Uh, I never really played a massive amount of rugby due to injuries. So I've got problems with my knees, problems with my shoulders, and I know every rugby player has got problems with their knees and shoulders. But for example, I've got a grade three tear of my AC joint, my right shoulder, and lots of issues with my shoulder joint. So sometimes my shoulder actually pops out and back in on a backswing, which is not a nice feeling. And also my knees, I've got two operations to replace patella tendons or not replace them, repair them on both knees. So I had two full ruptures, not at the same time, separate occasions. Um, so my knees are a bit of an issue as well. But however, if it wasn't for those injuries, I'd have never discovered golf. And I'm actually loving golf. Maybe even if I'd have played golf when I was a bit younger, would I have ever played rugby? Who knows? Anyway, let's find this ball. So too busy chatting away, I walked straight past the ball, but to be fair, it's underground, so I'll let myself off. Right, we've still got about 200 yards to the green. Um, ball held up in the wind quite a lot, off to the right, like I said. These trees are just here. The green's actually just left of those. So I'm gonna go probably with a, a four iron up the hill and see how we go. So I've got a four iron in hand. Um, I'm actually gonna aim straight at those trees and hopefully the wind will push it off to the left a little bit leaving with a little nice line into the green. I'm not that fussed if I don't make it because the wind is quite windy. <laughs> even though I nearly fall over, uh, even though I nearly fell over, I don't think that was actually a bad strike. Yeah, so as well as the wind, it's a bit slippy underfoot as well. As you saw there, I nearly fell over. Um, I actually caught the ball quite well considering. Um, I think, I should be short with a shot at the green. However, there is a little bunker up here on the left-hand side that I may be flirting with. So let's find out when we get up there. So, came up short of the green, missed the bunker, missed the trees on the right-hand side. Perfect line into the green. Let's test the short game now. Remember, this is a par four today. Blimey, out of that wind.
that's a four on the second hole, par four. So we're still even. Irons are still going strong. Um, even though I've missed every fairway, even still. So that tells you something, doesn't it? Let's uh, let's move on to the next par three. So originally I was actually going to do this over nine holes, but unfortunately today, as you can see, most of the front line's closed because of the wet weather. So that's why it's turned into a free hole challenge because only four of the holes or five of the holes are actually open. So this hole's a par three. It's about 126 yards to the flag. I say it's about, I've just zapped it. I know it's 126 yards. Um, so I'm gonna go with a, a knockdown pitching wedge or a three quarters pitching wedge because the wind is behind. But for some reason I don't feel the 50 degree on this hole. So let's see how we go. So that has plugged long. Well, that's annoying. I really tried to take some off of that as well to make sure that I was on the green. However, clear misjudgment of the wind, as you can probably hear, is really, really windy. So that's where it plugged. I've got a nasty downhill to the flag, which is just there. T the is all the way back up there. That's another par. I'm actually quite happy with that. That's three holes, level par, irons only. However, I still missed every fairway that I tried to hit. I think um, that tells you more about my swing than it does about whether I should be using woods or irons. But I don't know, I could be talking absolute rubbish. Remember, I'm not a PGA professional or anything like that. I'm just trying to play a bit of golf. Uh, and as you can tell, the wind is blowing quite strongly. But again, that had nothing to do with the fact that I kept pushing it right off the tee. Um, so if anybody's got any tips with my uh, mindset off the tee, I'd really appreciate that. But for now, see you, take care, and we'll see you again next time.